you're not done yet. Maybe this has been the best season this year, and most of those bales are perfect. There might be a few wet ones, and some of the field may have gotten away from you, so there may be a few out there that are drier than the rest. But all in all, you want to sell these bales at a top price to your best customer. Or maybe you want to keep them for your own livestock to push your milk production to the maximum. However, it doesn't always go that well. Sometimes the weather changes and rain hits the windrow. Some of your fields may have more weeds. Some get baled on the later maturity. You want to make sure those lower quality bales go to the right customer or to your own livestock that may not require the highest quality feed. Okay, now keep them straight. Make sure you have a good idea of which bales are the good ones and which ones are not as good. Sometimes you can tell by looking at them as you bring them out of the field. Sometimes, though, it's harder based on outside appearance. They're all there, you know that. Everything you baled is in the stack and you are pretty sure where and how many you have. But what happened to those few wet ones? How about those dry ones? Did you get those bales from the lower quality fields separated from the good ones? It's a real challenge managing this inventory. There's a lot of money tied up in those stacks. Want to manage your inventory professionally? Now there's an innovative system to make that possible. The Eggco Hey Boss G2. This innovative system puts a tag on every bale you make as the bale is tied. A unique mechanical device is mounted on the top of the baler. After the first knot passes, two fingers pick up the outside twine. A tag is inserted under the twine. As the twine snaps down, the tag is closed around the twine and locked in place. There is a little memory chip embedded inside each tag. That chip has storage capacity and will hold information sent to it from the tagging device. Yes, the system is gathering information about the bale as it is being made. As the bale leaves the baler, an antenna sends this information to the tag. That information is now on the tag, on the bale, and there it will stay. The bale now has a label. There is very important information put on that tag, information that you and the people feeding that hay can use. Each tag contains a bale serial number, average moisture, high moisture, pounds of preservative used, field name, time and date baled, bale weight, and field position. The bale serial number. Each bale has a unique number identifying that bale. Average moisture. If the bale is wet or a little too dry, you're going to know it's on the label. High moisture. Those slugs will ruin a bale and they can ruin a whole stack. You'll see that on the tag. Pounds of preservative used. The system keeps track of the actual amount of preservative that is applied to each specific bale. The tagger will also put that amount on the tag. Field name. Want to know what field the bale came from? It's on the tag. Time and date baled. Another great way to keep all the same hay together. And later, when you or your customer says, that was great feeding hay, give me some more of that. You can identify it. Bale weight. Agco has developed an optional scale for their large square baler. If your baler has a scale, the tagger will write the average weight of the last three bales that were made to the tag of the bale currently being made. If the bale does not have a scale, you can watch the pressure and crop conditions and put a pretty good estimate into the system. It will be on the tag. Field position. The tagger will also take a position from a GPS receiver and write the field position to the tag for where the bale was dropped. That will help you keep track of where the bale came from and the position. Weight and moisture information can be taken off the unit and is compatible with most yield mapping programs if you want to map the yield of your hay fields. Yes, all of that information is on the tag. You can't see it, but it's there. You can read all of that information with a scanner. The Agco Hay Boss G2 Model 860 scanner can read the tag at any time. In handheld mode, the tag can be read up to 10 feet away. 
You don't need to see the tag. The scanner works on radio waves that travel through the veil. The tag information will display on the scanner's display so you or your customer feeding the bale can spot check bales to see what they are. Most of the time, operators are scanning bales as they are later handled. This is when you would want to know the most about the bales. Want to kick out the wet ones? Want to separate out the dry ones? Want to keep all of the bales from the same run together? Want to keep a list of what came out of a field? went into a stack or went on a truck. The tags and scanner make that possible. As you pick up bales, you will see all of the information about that bale. At that point, the loader operator has the option of either accepting or removing the bale. When a stack is being made or a truck is being loaded, the bales you don't want can be set aside. If you run into a wet bale, just set it aside. Don't burn the stack or aggravate someone at the other end when you're shipping hay. When more than one bale is picked up at a time, all of the bales within 15 feet will display on the screen. If there is one that you want to separate out, that bale will have to be isolated from the others to verify it is the one you don't want. The loader mounted antennas allow the scanner to read at up to 30 feet away. On a retriever, the scanner will also allow the operator to sort bales. As the bales are being scanned at pickup, the scanner is keeping a record of the bales picked up in what the Hayboss G2 calls a group. The group record can be seen in the cab after the bales are picked, but more importantly, they can be downloaded from a USB port on the bottom of the scanner. A USB memory stick is inserted into the scanner. Take the memory stick back to the office and the list of bales, the total number of bales in a group, the average moisture of the group and the total weight of the group is now on record in the office. Not only have you sorted your hay, you now know for sure what you have. Are you shipping a load of bales to an important customer? They are all important. What about printing out a list of the bales on the load to send with the shipment? Your customer will have some valuable information with the list and you will be providing a valuable service to the feeder of your hay. Producers who are using tags and sending a list along with their loads are getting paid more for their hay. Producers who feed their own hay are keeping a consistent quality in the ration. By scanning the bale before dumping it into the mixer, the operator can be sure that the bale is similar to the ones he has been feeding and the ones the ration is balanced for. Swings in hay quality mean swings in ration values, and now the Hay Boss G2 bale identification system provides a tool for managing those swings. You're pushing your hay quality to improve every year. You have to as the needs of livestock increase every year. There's just so much land and there's just so much water. Your neighbors in row crop production are answering the call to be more efficient and productive by bringing precision farming into fertility management. Precision fertility is not as important with alfalfa or other forage crop. The opportunity for the producer of hay to become more efficient through precision comes from doing a better job managing the variations from bale to bale. The Eggco Hay Boss G2 system is the tool to give you that precision. Talk to your Eggco dealer today on how to set up your large square baler to meet the challenges of doing the best you can.